It's Zach Hansen's birthday day. Happy birthday, Zach Hansen. See? Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> I'm watching the Goldbergs because the original guy who played Freddy Cougar was on the show. The Robert character guy. And the way the preview, the promo played, it seemed like he was going to be in the whole movie. I mean, the whole show. Yesterday. Today is September. I know my date. October 25th. 2018th, yesterday was the 24th when it was on, and it's basically an episode about how she can't let this guy, this kid, watch horror movies because they're too scary. He gets scared, and she's the worst mother ever because her mother doesn't help her out, and so he ends up watching Elm Street, the first one, at his girlfriend's house, and then they give him a magazine that shows him shows the killer Freddy without makeup the mom gets scared and has to watch the movie and she has a nightmare and she, Freddy's like one two I'm coming for you and the mom goes no and then she says or he says you're not making this easy and then they would cuss bleep it out of course and then he goes, I'm out of here, Freddy, something, and he goes, it's Kuga, and that's what made it funny. But really, the episode was pretty stupid, besides that one little part. And that's why I didn't record the whole episode, I only recorded that part. So, is it worth watching? I would say yes, for that one little part, but I would, like, record it, TiVo it, or something, so that you can fast forward it. Um, they did do a parody of this, of course. But he has to, he thinks he needs to try and stay awake because of, because he's scared of this horror thing. Now here's the magazine. I wonder if that's a real magazine. Now I know you're probably saying, why don't you be quiet so we can listen to it. No, because of copyright, it's not allowed. And I'm not getting my channel taken down just because you're watching this. Sorry, it just does not work like that. I did record the uh, promo because the promo is better than this crap, to be honest. But I w wouldn't mind watching this one time. And they do do part of the one, two, Freddy's coming for you, three, four... Better lock the door. And see, here is the actual Freddy. Woohoo! The actual regular actor. And I don't know if you can see that through my camera. But let's fast forward to their best part of the movie. Turned out just fine, my ass. Coming into Peeper's dreams. Which Freddy is your favorite for the people that like Freddy Krueger? Mine is the first one, and I don't know the number, but it's the one where the girl is pregnant and she has the baby. Those two are my favorite. The before and the after, and then when the boyfriend dies and stuff, and then. I also like. Okay. I know you said you didn't want to talk to me anymore, but it's like all three of them. Ah! I just had this crazy, awful dream. I keep grabbing the wrong remote. I wanted you to hear the best part. Damn it. So you actually watch your brain. Ah! Uh, we don't like Dr. Oz. He sucks. Yeah, here's the best part, and I'll shut up. Take a 
get my son back. Kroger, it's Koga. Anyways, I'll talk to y'all later. I'm Bunny and Bunny. Now leave me alone. I forgot to show you the little information here. It's the right remote. But it's the Goldberg. ABC, you know, when it was on and stuff. And so I can spell the word. The Goldberg is correctly. Sorry, I'm not gonna... Ooh, Garth Brooks. I can't wait for his special on December 2nd on CBS. I love Garth Brooks. Even though I'm not a country person, but I like him. Anyways, that's the point of this video. The point of this video is I meant to say that next week, next Tuesday, I saw a promo just now of the Connors doing their Halloween show, which I'll put on this DVD. So I can't wait for that. I'm going to watch it. So I can't wait to watch that. I'm going to watch... I'm trying to think that... So, and I'm definitely going to put it on here. And I'm going to watch... And I hope it's a good Halloween one. I will let you know after I watch that episode next Tuesday what I think of that ep of that of their Halloween episodes. Usually their Halloween episodes on Roseanne is the bomb diggity. They are really good. Last Tuesday's um, the Connors episode was pretty damn good. I loved the episode with the Connors where the the Connors where David came back but why would you name a, a girl character blue? I, I don't I don't get it. And survival last night. I'm glad Natalie's gone. She's a bitch because she was like a Angelia was like I want her jacket before she leaves. So she goes to Nick and goes Nick, you want to stay in the game? Well then give me your jacket. And he goes I oh, no I'm not giving you my jacket. And he goes, she goes, so your jacket's worth a million dollars? Because you're going home. And he goes, you can't bully me like that for my jacket. And she was trying to get people's jackets for Angelina. And then make Angelina seem like the princess girl. Because she's like, I don't have the guts. One, you shouldn't be taking other people's things without their permission. That's stealing. They can actually sue you for that. And second of all, at the tribal council they even talked about jackets, and then Natalie gets voted out, and Angelina's like, Natalie, Natalie, give me a jacket, give me a jacket, give me a jacket, give me a jacket, give me a jacket. And she just kept walking, ignoring her, not saying a word. But at the end slate, she goes, now about the whole jack why I didn't give Angelina my jacket because if she's the one to vote me to help vote me out then why would I give her my jacket for that and plus and second of all I don't have to give her my jacket if I don't want to <clears throat> excuse me Miss Bully who tried to bully Nick Nick's like you told Nick that if he doesn't give up his jacket, he's getting voted out. But yet, you wouldn't give up your jacket? What a bitch. The funny part was, Nick's like, Angelina's like, nothing. And then Nick goes, I guess it's worth, a mi it's worth more than a million dollars. Her jacket's worth more than a million dollars. Just like what she said to him. It was classic it was the funniest thing ever but uh and then the whole the couple where jen and bill had two kids one from india named zoe who is <coughs> five not eight not seven and 
Will, who is seven, not it. And the people being mean and calling them brats, that they have no manners, um, they're acting like normal five and seven year olds. You people that are bitching about it must have never been around little children to know that that's what they always act like. Yes, they have manners, yeah, but yes, they should have, when they go to somebody's house for an open house to look, yes, they should have taught them better than to steal food and stuff, but they can raise their kids however they fucking want, and you guys either watch the show and enjoy it, or get the fuck off the show and don't watch it. If you're just going to bitch about the show, then what the fuck are you watching it for? It's just like when 19 Kids and Counting was on. You guys bitched about that. Anyways, I'm going to get going. I will talk to you guys later. I'm Bunny and Bunny. Now leave me alone. If you know how to find this video, I want to find it and put and uh, put it in my playlist. Oh my god. And post it everywhere because this is funny. This is all the good killers singing. I want it that way except for it's called... I want to kill it that way. <laughs> I hate the Backstreet Boys, but I love this parody. And I want to find this parody. Mm, so I have to go to Nick Carter to see if I can find it. Uh, okay. Found it. <laughs> Slash Street Boys. <laughs> this is too funny. My favorite part of this whole video is when Freddy Krueger tell his leather face off and say no 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 Jason and Michael bring it back meaning they're the killers you're just sick and you're a hillbilly <laughs> look 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 I made a cool theme park yay fuck over I'm getting them loud now. Loud farts.